We all get the same 12 months in one year. But how these months go by can be very drastic and different for us gig workers. And that's why in today's episode, I'm going to be talking to you lovelies about these seasonal changes of being a gig worker. Last week on The Dash with Ash, I talked to you lovelies about payday and being a gig worker. But you might be surprised on how dramatically impacted some gig workers' paydays are, depending on the time of the year. At the time that I am recording this podcast episode right now, it is January the 1st of 2024. Happy New Year's, everybody. But to my fellow gig workers, it might not be the happiest time of the year. You see, New Year's means a fresh start for many. And it also means catching up. The fresh start is a lot of people want to have a fresh start on their diet. So when it comes to fresh starts, let's be honest, ordering takeout and it doesn't matter from what application you choose to do it from might not be the best possible solution if you're trying to eat clean and catch up financially. One week ago today, many of us were gathered by a Christmas tree unwrapping presents. And those presents? I love Santa and the spirit and all of that stuff. But my wallet does not because in the end, we're all Santa's little helper. Or even better sometimes in my books. Those people that want to get away to a nice hot spring in the winter... I'm down for the Bahamas for two weeks on a nice cruise ship. What about you? But when I come back, my wallet would be paying for it. So even though in Montreal, Quebec, as it stands today, it's pretty cold, not that bad, probably minus five degrees out. But some people want to stay warm inside. And you would hope that people would be ordering food because stores are closed. But on the contrary... People are sticking their guns out on this one and not ordering. In fact, it's not just a New Year's Day kind of thing where this happens. You got another six weeks to go before these apps start to get better. Although I am a supporter of those who do New Year's resolutions, I myself do not partake. And there's no specific reason behind it, I just don't. However, for those that do... Very often, they will succeed for the entire month of January. So if they're not giving in to those food cravings or ordering off these apps, it's not uncommon for gig workers to make a lot less money in the month of January. And then, of course, those that are playing catch-up since the holidays, whether it's on debit or credit, they got a lot of work to do to make some of that money back into their pockets. So... They're not going to waste that money on these applications. So there's a domino effect between New Year's resolutions and the month of catching up. Now, where gig workers will get a little bit more lucky is from mid-February to around April. It's still cold outside. There's probably plenty of snow if global warming has not impacted your area. And additionally, people will go back to ordering on these apps because they've put a little bit of money back into their pockets. But as well, some of them want to give in to those food cravings. And if so, February to April is when gig workers will start to make a little bit more money again. The issue still with February to April is, as I've mentioned in the previous episode on my podcast or even on my YouTube channel, that there is an oversaturation of drivers in the market So it still might be pretty hard to get some decent orders, but at least order volume should increase. Then around mid-April to about mid-May is when things start to shift. Snow starts to melt, you start to go through your other holidays like Easter and such, but people are coming more out of their homes and they're starting to get just a little bit less on these apps. The only difference is there is things like flooding and such, that sadly impacts people's capabilities of being able to leave their homes. So some do have no choice but to order off these apps, 
which still makes a small increase in order volume for people to be able to still order off these apps, making it that gig workers can still make a little bit of income. Now, before I continue, I will like to say this. Each market is different, and each season in each market is treated differently. You might not get snow where you are in the winter, and because of that, you might see an increase throughout that year of people not ordering off these apps, or vice versa. You might be in a location where these apps are hot and heavy all year round, and you might be getting a lot of winter months or anything in between. Just because I'm giving a breakdown of what I see, doesn't mean it's the same for your market. Now, the shift between mid-May to what I'll say is about the end of August can be substantial for many gig workers because you're going into what many call the summer slowdown period. Many people are out and about on vacation, enjoying swimming pools, terraces, and more. So because of this, we all expect a decrease in app usage. However, there is definitely a time period where being a gig worker during those months is the most beneficial, and that's the late evenings. It might not be a surprise to you that many people might come home after a gorgeous summer evening or a summer day and want to unwind with some of their favorite foods being ordered at their place. Maybe they're having a summer get-together in the evening on their patio and doing it themselves, and they want the food to be brought to them. If so, if you're a lucky one, you're going to get some really good midnight orders. And I'm telling you, these can be the king or queen of all orders. Because that's where the money starts to fall in. Because if you're working those late night shifts, they know that these restaurants are not open for dine-in, but they're open for takeout. And rather, they want to have a steak by the poolside at midnight, or they want their McDonald's in their home. When you are going out in the summertime in the late evening shifts, that's when a lot of people are happy to be gig workers. Now, for me, I won't work those late evening shifts because of my own safety. And let's be honest, I've said it. I have a four-year-old son and I'd much rather be at home with him and my partner. But my favorite time of the season is after mid-August, when temperatures start to shift into the fall temperatures. From mid-August all the way up to, I would say at least November, things are way different for me. Because I can go out without dealing with the snow, but I can also go out without dealing with the heat. And many people will go back to ordering during the regular daytime hours. I will get a lot of business orders during lunchtime, during these days, because people are just simply wanting it to be sent to them instead of going out. And I am all for it because there's nothing better than just going out in a hoodie and being comfortable during this seasonal time and making myself a little bit more money. The last seasonal change that I got to talk about is from November up until the end of the year, December 31st. This one's a miscellaneous because do I notice that there's less orders? Definitely around Christmas time, but... I also noticed there's more generosity. I've had a cash tip this year that I didn't expect. My brother had two or three cash tips this year that he didn't expect, all while still being tipped on these apps. Because the season of giving is starting to come around the corner and people are way more generous. I've been offered Christmas cookies or Christmas chocolates and it's a very sweet time of the year, that's for sure. But, like I mentioned, when it comes to the week of Christmas or the week of New Year's coming around the corner again, that's when things start to dip. But depending on your market area, the month of November all the way through to December, it could actually be a hit or a miss when you are a gig worker. But either way, you're only going to find out by embracing the cold and doing some orders. All businesses and companies have up times, down times, and in between times all the time of the year. And temperatures change it, lifestyles change it, environments change it. We can't help what changes things really. But all I know is that the seasons of being a gig work are a constant change. 
I do wish they would improve, but every year it seems to be less and less orders. But that's because there's more and more drivers, in my opinion. But either way, no matter where you're going to be located, you are going to be having some seasonal changes every day of the year. Next week on The Dash with Ash, I'll be talking to you lovelies about safety and is it even safe to be a gig worker. I'll catch you lovelies in the next episode.